Hello, beautiful friends. It's Katherine Ewing here from Sacred Heart Alchemy and Divinely Inspired Feminine Leaders. Um, I just like realized the date <laughs> and uh, I'm sort of in shock, although I look at it every day, but it just really occurred to me how quickly we are winding down 2022. I don't know about you, but to me, it feels like this year blew by, even though it's had some incredible energies, ups and downs, and so much happening, it just feels like the year has flown by. And so I wanted to be sure and um, come to you live to invite you to my, this will be the sixth annual Burning Bowl ceremony that will hold on uh, New Year's Eve. So on the 31st um, at six o'clock Eastern, uh, six, yeah, six o'clock Eastern, we will be going live with our virtual burning bowl ceremony. And, you know, as I go through every day, working with my clients, doing my own work, being involved in different communities, both in person and online, I sort of have this bird's eye view of um, being witness to so many different people's processes and experiences. Um, which is both beautiful and, you know, sometimes can be overwhelming. So I'm always doing my own clearing work, my own processing. But the one thing that I wanted to say, and I know this, sometimes I feel like I sound like a broken record with this because it's been going on for so long, but the energy just keeps ramping up. And what I'm seeing over and over and over again is all of the different myriad ways in which spirit, um, the universe, source, God, goddess, creatrix, creator of all, whatever languaging feels, um, you know, uh, authentic to you around that which created everything, um, continues to offer us opportunities to heal, old patterns, old programs, old uh, wounds, uh, often from ch early childhood that we're still holding in our emotional body, in our energy body, in our cellular memory. And, you know, sometimes we think, oh, enough already. Haven't I dealt with that? Haven't I addressed that? And yes, you have. And maybe there's still some residual energy, right? I use that terminology, sort of clean up on aisle five, right? There's, there's a few crumbs, there's a spill that still needs a little more cleaning up. And the universe is offering us opportunities to do that all the time by activating a memory, by bringing someone into our experience who triggers something for us. And what I'm inviting you, we will do this in the burning bowl, but I just want to bring it to your awareness. What I'm inviting you to do is when you notice yourself getting triggered or falling back into an old pattern of wanting to blame or point the finger or, you know, react like a victim is to say, okay, I sense this happening. I feel this happening rather than feel like the victim or go into, ah, oh, crap, why is this happening again? What did I do wrong? To take a moment and breathe and recognize that in its love for you, in its desire for you to step into the fullness of who you really are as a sovereign divine being who choose to came in, come into this physical form, into this crazy earth school, the universe is saying, here's this thing again. It needs more love. It needs your attention. It needs forgiveness. It needs acceptance. There's a part of you calling for more love, not less. That's a Matt Kahn line. There's a part of you calling for more love, not less. And so this is our opportunity now as these as we get activated, as we get irritated, as we get annoyed, as we get afraid, as we uh, feel like the victim again, to really switch into 
that mindset that says, oh wait, perhaps this is not punishment, perhaps this is not being me being victimized or manipulated, but maybe this is an opportunity for me to drop in and do the deeper healing here. So all of that to say, uh, I hope, hope, hope you will join me for our burning bowl ceremony this year where we will have an opportunity to drop in and consciously and intentionally release the things that are no longer serving us. The protections that we may have created as children in our, as a part of our survival that now are preventing us from being fully sovereign, fully aligned with our highest purpose and our highest being. So please come and join. I will leave the link. You do have to sign up because uh, then you'll, you'll get the information about uh, where to go and what time and how to prepare, best prepare yourself. So we will do the releasing and then we will also do some envisioning because right wherever we create a void and opening, then we um, also want to be able to bring something in to fill that space so that the old stuff doesn't just fill it back in again, right? So we're gonna also take some time during that burning bowl ceremony to do some envisioning of that which we want to create, that which we want to manifest, that which we want to bring in, not only in the, the coming up year, 2023, but planting the seeds for things that may um, blossom or bloom or come into fruition many years in the future. So um, that's it for now. I've got to jump off but uh, I am so happy to see you. I am so happy to invite you and I will put the link for this year's Burning Bowl ceremony just below the video or maybe above the video. <laughs> I don't know, wherever, wherever, when I look at this when it's done, I'll put it in the right place. And please feel free to share this because um, it's just so important, I believe, for people to have this opportunity to consciously drop in and make set their intention to let certain things go that are just not serving them any longer and um, spend a few minutes envisioning what they would rather have. What do I prefer here in, in the place of what I'm letting go? So many blessings to you. Um, Everybody stay safe. I know there's crazy weather going on in lots of places. So stay safe uh, and pass along this message, if you will, or the link in however way you feel comfortable doing that. And I will see you all soon. Mm, namaste.